Yeah, it's amazing. Also, I saw some DJ, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> play music from Palermo, <laughs> like, from Palermo, like yeah. Mykonos, so like Ibiza. <laughs> All right, everybody, we are here with the legendary Fabio Cannavaro doing um, a great interview. He's been so kind to be able to come on and speak because we have a, an amazing cause um, that we're helping to promote. So, Fabio, first off, welcome and thank you for your time. No, thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you to invite me. I'm so glad for that. Sorry for the Internet problem, but uh, next time we will do the... Yeah, we, by Instagram, we can try to to see each other by Instagram. Sorry for that. No, wow. no, it's no problem. We already, we have a lot of people that sent us questions, so they're going to be happy. We'll, we'll, we'll get to all of that. Um, but before we get into that, you know, I want to first off thank you and thank the entire 2006 team for, for what you guys are doing right now. Because, you know, you gave us a lot. You gave the country, Italy and Italians, something to be very proud of in the past. Obviously, we all know. But now what you're doing is, even, is an even more important goal. Um, and for the people that don't know, we're here to help promote the GoFundMe, which the entire 2006 World Cup winning squad is raising money. Yeah. At the moment, they've raised over 300,000 euros for the Italian Red Cross. So Fabio, tell us a little bit about um, what, what the goal is, what this money's gonna go to, and, and how this began. My teammate and I, um... Ever started upon the race uh, in order to to raise money uh, for uh, our hospitals. Uh, the doctors and the nurses they they are in uh, need uh, supplies, so they need uh, a lot of uh, things. And uh, we decide to do that because uh, we feel we need to do something for our country. The money we raise will uh, be used to send uh, medical uh, supplies and uh, equipment that they really need that in, in this moment. And uh, we are so glad we have this opportunity to, to put our face. We are glad to, to ask the people to do that because uh, in, uh, in this moment, our uh, situation in our country is so bad. Uh, yesterday was a very sad day because uh, many italian people in the hospital they, they died so uh, i i hope also the people in new york and around the world they try they can help us because we need this money to help the doctors and uh, everyone in italy now they work 24 h uh, 24 hours and for this is really important we put our face Everyone was happy to, to put money. Everyone was happy to, to help our doctors and our, uh, our country. So for that, I so honored to, to be the captain for my team. Yeah, it's true. And, you know, for, for me, when we saw this, obviously we wanted to be involved. And that's when, when, when you told us about the initiative, what you were doing. Um, we have the, the, the donation link in the, in the bio. Um, we also have shirts where all the 100% of the proceeds are going, will be donated to your foundation. Thank you so much. Of course, of course. And we're happy to do this. And I think that it's, it's kind of symbolic that the 2006 team, the, the guys that were a unit, they were a really closed group. We won because of how united we were. And this is another opportunity for us to show as unity as people what we can do and what we could achieve. Yeah, the goal will be, you know, to help these people. It's uh, not about, you know, we need to do one million euro. The, the goal is uh, we need to need everyone to, to stay together to fight uh, with this virus because this virus uh, is uh, dangerous for everyone, uh, for everybody around the world. And it's really is important now to stay at home, guys. Please stay at home if you, and be healthy because... Uh, you know, in Europe, uh, the people start to think, ah, but it's just a fever. I can go around. I don't care. I can, uh, I can do everything I want. I can do joking. But uh, it's not like that. And you know that uh, in, uh, before, everyone was laughing about the Italian government because they closed everything. They said, ah, you know, the Italian people, they always try to find the excuse because they don't want to work. But it's not like that. It's really dangerous, guys, this virus. And I was here in China in the beginning of the virus and the situation was unbelievable but everyone was at home and for that they now they have the virus under control for that now because they were very they were very tough with the chinese people 
And for that, now the virus is under control. I am in, in quarantine here. Every day they give me the thermometer and then I give it to them my, my temperature. And uh, uh, the, we need the, the rules very tough. And I know that in America, everyone uh, uh, in the beginning was, you know, like, uh, like Europe. But please tell the people to stay at home because they really need to stay at home to, to fight against this virus. You know, it's, it's, um, it's crazy that you say that because over here in New York, like you said, when we saw, when everybody here saw Italy going crazy, they're like, oh, okay, it's Italy, you know, they're crazy, they, they overdramatized this, the flu is not as bad. And only now, I know, I know. Only now we're starting to see people start to take it seriously. But mm -hmm. even in, even in America, there's too many people outside. Everybody's out. Everybody's still doing what they're supposed to do, and that's why you know it's crazy. It's it's crazy. But the one thing I heard, I read your interview that you gave with an Italian newspaper, and you know, reading you know, going on social media, you see so much negativity all day. And I read what you said where you said, listen, in China, we stayed home, we followed the rules, and things are starting to get better. So I really want you to talk about that, because it gave me a little bit of opti op being optimistic, you know? You know that uh, I, I own my family, my wife, my kids, they are in Naples. And uh, I say to them, you, you are not allowed to go out. You are, you are not allowed to go to, to meet uh, your friends. You are not allowed to, uh, to let the people come in the house. You need to stay alone, and uh, I don't care for uh, one uh, a week, two weeks, uh, or a month. I don't care. You need to stay at, at home alone. If you need to go out for uh, buy the food, or you know, if uh, something very important, you need to wear the mask, the gloves, and when you come back, you need to put the, your shoes outside of the house, and uh, you need to clean everything. And maybe you can come back. You can come in the in the house. Uh, because uh, they need to understand, they know that uh, the virus is dangerous. And uh, I hope you understand my English, guys, because I know my English is poor English. No, no. But, I'm speaking uh, very good. It's important, but, it, but it's important everyone understand that in uh, Europe, in America, you know, around in the world, uh, because it's the key to fight against the, this virus. So that's, so that's what happened in China, in China, basically, because I, I read that you guys stayed quarantined and now it's starting to be a little bit better? Uh, you know that the people, uh, now the, the virus is under control. And uh, the people, they come in China, they need to go to, they need to stay 14 days in quarantine. And uh, after 14 days, you can go out. Uh, but in the first day we arrived, we arrived in China, we did the, the tampone. I don't know in English, maybe it's the same. Yeah. Uh, and um, they give the result to us after three days. But uh, for two weeks, we need to stay at home. We can't go out. If we need the food, they, you can call the restaurant around the city and they can deliver the, the food to your house. Uh, only like that, only like that, you can fight against the virus because this virus is very aggressive. This virus can, uh, uh, you know, can uh, in, uh, I don't know, in, in two days, maybe a thousand people can get this virus. So it's dangerous. For that, I hope everyone listen uh, and try to, to be very tough for that. Because, uh, guys, we're talking about life. And the life is short. And we need to take uh, we need to take the best of uh, of uh, the life, not the the worst. It's yeah. true, I know, and it, it's it's crazy how within a few days, like you just said, we went from you know talking about football, should football be behind closed doors, and all this kind of stuff, to boom, the next day it's it's about life and it's and it's about our health. But I think the one good thing about it is that it shows how us as people, like even with the donation that you're doing, and all the players that we see donating so much money to help people we could see how much together as a unit we could do something to help make a difference and at least help stop the spread. And that's why, again, there's a donation link in the bio over here where you could donate to the GoFundMe. Please, yes, it's really important. Donate, yeah. donate, donate, please. If we all do our job, you know, exactly. as people and we all work together like a team, like the 2006 team, if we work together, we could do something that's great, Toge right? Yeah, together as a team, we always work together. Individually, we can't do anything, but if we work as a team, we no. can accomplish anything. This is in the sport and also in the life. So uh, if you want to win something, you need to be on a squadra. Uh, 
squadra e in Italia is a team. Sì, bravo, so it's bravo, really bravo. important to be to be squadra and uh, even more because uh, this virus need the time because until now we we didn't reach also the the flatten the the curve you know because um we we maybe we need more time to understand how many people get in this uh, this virus mm -hmm. and uh, so for that I'm so afraid I'm afraid that uh, uh, many 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 people more can die and I, it's really sad that for this we need the hurry we need to try to to we need this money for help uh, our doctors have help our our uh, uh, country for uh, for this virus. Every, I was gonna say every dollar helps, so that's why Marco was saying donation link. You can either donate donate straight to the GoFundMe, or you can get a T-shirt. This is a T-shirt, by the way, Marco. There's a heart over here. Other than the background, I'll turn around. Marco, what's it say? It says that people like us never uh, never give up. Yeah. So Fabio, by the way, like I said about beautiful things that happen in in crazy times. Did you see all the balcony videos, obviously, in your home of Naples? What, what did you think? Yeah, it's nice. It's, uh, now the people are starting to, you know, to invent again the many things. The people do the concert, the people do the uh, sing the song, the people uh, try to stay outside. Uh, it, it's nice, but uh, of course now the, we need to understand also the people die. And uh, we need to be careful for that sometime. But uh, of course, I prefer the people laughing, the people starting to enjoy the, the life, uh, but with the respect. Exactly, exactly. But, uh, yeah, because maybe sometimes it's too much. Uh, but it's, it's nice. It's, uh, you know that uh, you are Italian. So for us, uh, always is, uh, is a good time to to do party, to, to be enjoy the life and uh, to, to stay with the family and uh, be enjoyed. Exactly. And as long as they're doing it in a safe way, you know, from your balcony and all this, I love it, you know? It's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. Also, I saw some DJ, you know, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> play music. From Palermo. <laughs> like, from Palermo. Like yeah. So like Ibiza. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I know, he was that good. Was and good. The, funny way, the funny way is my, my mom, she always send me the video. She always says, enjoy the, you know, the, to stay because he's, uh, he's in, in Napoli. She lives in, in the area with many people. And she's in love, you know, with the music, blah, blah. She, she sent me the message. Tonight we have this appointment. Tomorrow we have this meeting. Tomorrow again this music. It's, it's like a very busy schedule. <laughs> well, that's at, least, at least you have to find something. You know, there needs to be something that motivates you, that you look forward to. It's even yeah, beautiful. Man. I saw one time they, they had a video that everybody started clapping for the healthcare workers, which, I mean, those guys, they're heroes. So yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah no, no, many good ideas. Yeah. So Fabio, listen, I know uh, a very serious issue and, and I'm happy that we could bring awareness to this. But we have you here and we have some, some questions yeah. uh, that are culture related. A lot of the people that donated, yeah, wanted to ask some questions. We're like, listen, Fabio's going on. We got to talk a little culture over here. So uh, just a little bit. Now we can talk about the culture because we talk also about this, uh, uh, our charity project. And uh, for that, of course, we can talking about uh, football for culture because uh, <laughs> we are Italian and we say culture and football. Perfect. I just want to start off by this. Uh, I, I didn't even tell Marco this was going to happen. So uh, when Marco was younger for the 2006 World Cup, uh, his dad, his dad uh, had three tickets to go uh, to Europe to watch a World Cup. To watch the semifinals. To watch the semifinals against Germany. And he had three tickets. And Marco, take over the story. No, my, Mike, Mike is doing this to, to put a dig at me because my dad had three tickets, yeah. but there's four people in the family. So who do you think they left off? You. <laughs> His older <laughs> sisters went instead of him. I'm like, what you do? But it's unfair that, come on, tell your dad is not fair. You know why? Because I was the youngest. Even more because one of my best performance ever. I know, <laughs> I know. I, listen, to this day, I still don't talk to them. I still have the grudge. <laughs> Whenever he, they call him, he always hangs up. <laughs> My performance was amazing this day. Anyway, I, it was it was unbelievable. I think he's there. I think he's there when I won the golden ball. Yeah, I know, I know. 
it, it gives me it still gives me goosebumps and you know what's really cool we saw on sky they were showing all the games you know and i, I saw people watching it yeah that day we started to think about our project that day because uh, we get a lot of message from italian uh, supporters and we decide to do that for something for our country that's beautiful. Amazing. That's so beautiful. And it's still a game. We, we actually, we got it online and we watched it because we wanted to feel like we were in Italy. So we got to watch it again. Yeah. But, um, but first, the, thank you, number one. I'm going to say thank you for everybody that's watching this video. We know what it meant. So I want to thank them on behalf of you. Thank you so much for what you brought us. Still the greatest year of my life, even though I was young. It's, it's a dream and it's something that I think about all the time. All over the studio, we have different yeah, things yeah. To, to remember it. So thank you. But what, what good, was good. What was the secret of that team? Because we know we were not the favorites. No, but uh, you know that uh, our uh, our situation before the World Cup for our culture was uh, was disaster, and uh, we we left the country uh, with uh, a lot of pressure. So this pressure make us like a uh, like team, and. Uh, we starting to to understand uh, we can uh, do something amaz amazing after the first stage you know after the three games we started to to think about you guys we are strong because these two years we play so good we played we played amazing football uh, against very important national team like uh, like uh, germany like uh, many friendly game we destroyed them so after these three games, we started to think about, you know, we can do that. Come on, uh, we need to be more strong. We need to be concentrated. And uh, I think the key was uh, Mr. Lippi, because uh, he was uh, uh, our leader. He never lost, you know, the control. He, everything was under Mr. Lippi control. And uh, we just followed him. And uh, we arrived in this World Cup. In very good condition, physically, mentally, and uh, we we were so strong. That's wow. awesome. That's and you you could feel it. Like the people over here, you could feel it. Even though everyone was talking about Brazil, they were talking about all these countries over here in New York, but we could feel that we had the unity. Yeah, yeah. The team was uh, was one. It was a squad. A squad. It was one squad. It was a, it was a team. It was a really. Really important for us to to working all together, to fighting all together. Everyone was uh, involved in this project, you know, because also the people who was around our set, our, around us was really, uh, really serious, really ser very serious. Because everyone was very concentrated. That's beautiful. I have one question though. The night the night before the final. I read in Pirlo's book. I slept so well, so nice. I really? <laughs> the night before? The, the night, night before? Yeah, the night before. Yeah, of course. How? Really? Yeah, yeah. What? Okay, because <laughs> Pir Pirlo said he was playing PlayStation. So what was everybody else doing? Many, many, many players. Really? Many wow. players. No yes, nerves. but you know that in the end, we are normal, normal guys. Yeah, so, yeah. And... Uh, Many of them, they played uh, PlayStation. They played uh, before, uh, you know, was without Instagram, without uh, uh, Twitter. So the only things were the, or read books. And I think of us. <laughs> <laughs> it was more for, uh, you know, for uh, play, PlayStation. That's wow. good. Wait, so yeah. I'm, not good, I'm not good for PlayStation, to be honest You're with you. You're not good? To play. No, I'm not good. I'm, I'm not that good either, but he's pretty good. So we got to be careful with this guy. You're, you're, good, you're better on the pitch, so, you know, it balances out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what was... Yeah. I can only imagine... Even Gattuso? Gattuso wasn't going crazy? He was... He, he's crazy also now. So Rino is always is crazy. Gattuso, no <laughs> he way. He never relaxed. Gattuso, no way. He was reading books, right? He's the last person to read books. No, no, you know, Reno, the people uh, sometimes think wrong about, about Reno, oh, but okay. uh, he's a super uh, nice guy. Okay. And he's not only, you know, fight and... Green and Reno is a very interesting guy, yes. Wow. I, I saw, he said recently that when, when you guys were taking the penalty kicks, 
that he couldn't even watch and that he was underneath a bench in his mutande. Under the bench, yes. Under the bench, yes. Evero, it's under true? The bench. Yeah, it's true, it's true. It is underpants, though? It's true. He, it was in his yes. underwear? Yes. But I, I, I know that uh, later because, uh, you know, I see, um, for me, I, I, I don't care about where the arena was, but oh, wow. uh, he, he said to us, you know where I, 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 where I, where you been? Where, uh, you, know, you know, I've been in uh, under the bench because I can't watch a penalty. Wow, that's hilarious. You were calm. But I was uh, really confident. You were, Fabio, you were calm. Fabio, we were watching you and you were like this yeah. the whole time. You didn't, nothing. You are like this. You because, didn't move a muscle. Uh, you know that in 98, in French, Everyone was, you know, uh, come on, guys, we do that, we stay together, blah, 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 blah. I said, this time, guys, I don't I want to stay alone. Please leave me alone. And I don't care. I don't move because I was really confident about my, my friends. I know. I saw that. Everybody my else teammate. was celebrating. Everybody else was going crazy. You were like this. So, Fabio, we got to know. What was your, when you guys were in the World Cup final, you guys were playing France in the locker room before the game started, was there a speech or something you guys said or tradition that you guys did for that final game? You know that you, in this kind of games, you don't need the speech for uh, give you more motivation. Wow. Uh, because we're talking about uh, uh, the most important uh, game uh, in our, our life. And of course, in this case, in this case, everyone was really motivated. Uh, the nice thing was, you know, the silence, the, the atmosphere was unbelievable. No one talked, you know, everyone was uh, uh, afraid because everyone was afraid. And uh, we know that we play, we can, we, for us, it was a very tough game because. Uh, the French team was uh, unbelievable with the many top players. But uh, what we said before, we played uh, as a team. And uh, when you play as a team, you can reach everything you want. Wow. For, for me, obviously, from an outsider's perspective, that the game against Germany, the semifinal, felt like the final to me because it was, it was the hardest. It felt like the it's hardest. true. Even more, we played because we played in Dortmund where uh, they never lose the game. Never. <laughs> And uh, we know that, and when we 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 start, you know, uh, the the games, we 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 know we can make history there, and we did. I know. Wow. Thank you. Thank you again. You know, for me, it's really important uh, the situation now uh, become normal, because uh, after that, we can be enjoy the life again. Exactly. Yeah, we felt the same way. Uh, a few months ago, we were saying, oh, we want the Serie A back. But right now, uh, the people are more important. Some things are more important than culture. And at the end of the day, we want everyone protected. And that's why, like we were saying before, we're doing all these donations yeah, it's to true. help out as much as we can. But, um, yeah. And uh, you know that uh, it's, uh, it's important, but not only in Italy, eh? in England, uh, in Spain, everywhere, right? because... Uh, also in, in Madrid, now every 15 minutes, one, uh, one person dies. So, wow. Uh, yeah. It's getting bad. Anyway, uh, Fabio. We'll do one last question. Uh, a lot of people ask this. Uh, Fabio, Fabio, if you weren't, if you didn't play culture, if you weren't a football player, what do you think you would have became as a professional or a job? You had any hobbies? A fisherman, a pizzaiolo, something? Nah, for me, you know, was uh, I had always had one goal: play football. Wow! And uh, to be honest with you, I never thought about never thought about that because, uh, yeah, I like to cook. Now I I cooking every day. Uh, now you know I uh, try to <laughs> to do something. But uh, to be honest with you, all my life, my my things were on, only play football. Wow! Hey, that's and awesome. I never thought about something different. That's crazy. That's wow. a good. That's a good lesson. Laser focus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I follow my dream. I follow my dream. My dream was to play in Serie A. Was to play in national team. Was to to be a very good player. In the end, I was one. Of, I was the best because in 2006 I was the best player in the world because the people for, forget. You know, the people think about uh, the Ballon d'Or. 
but I won the FIFA World Players 2006. Means you know the best in the world. Wow, I know. I was. That's actually a really good one. Like, do you still feel like you're the last defender? As a win? defender, eh? Yeah. Exactly. As a defender. <laughs> no one's beating you. No one's beating you, Fabio. Do you feel, you feel like defenders they should win it more or no? <sighs> it's difficult because uh, really, guys, um, to win uh, as a defender, you need to do something unbelievable. Because I did. Because you know that now is. Uh, 14 years is 14 years, uh, years. We the people forget about World 2006. The people forget about everything. Yeah. But uh, my World Cup was unbelievable. The first game until the last one was unbelievable. Wow. In the end, I lifted the World Cup as a captain. And for that, you know, they they choose me as a for the Ballon d'Or and for the FIFA World Player. But uh, I know that um, we have many, many good defenders now, defenders now in, uh, in, in, in the world. And uh, also they have a Messi and they have a Cristiano. So <laughs> it's not easy for them. Wow. Exactly. Fabio, again, thank you so much for your time. I want to tell everybody. You're welcome, guys. I want to tell everybody again, um, the link is in the bio. Please, if you can donate. Um, if you can't, just share this to your friends, share this to your family. Yeah. Um, let's become a unity. Let's become a group. Every and dollar together, counts, guys. Together we'll be able to, to help do yeah, something guys, really important. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, I hope you understand my English. Uh, I thought I was afraid because uh, for me, it's not, not easy to, it's not easy to speak in uh, front of the camera in English, but... Uh, uh, for this case, uh, for the, this time, I, I decided to to do that because uh, it's important. We need the money and we need to help the people. Perfect, Please Great. help us. Your your, your English is better than than this guy's over here, so we understood you well. <laughs> you, sp you spoke great. Awesome. You are so kind of guys. <laughs>